Okay, so your 3D print is coming along just great and you're really excited about where it's getting. However, suddenly something happens. Oh! Holy moly! You're about to run out of filament and um, this can be a disaster for your print. However, this is not the time to panic. As a matter of fact, you want to do the exact opposite. You want to remain calm, and I'm going to show you step by step what you can do if you're about to run out for filament, out of filament. Now, the first thing is you got to make sure that you have another roll on hand and ready to go. Okay. The second thing is we're not going to let the filament run all the way out, so we're going to save a little bit at the end, and you want to hang on to that, know how long it is or whatever, because Later on, you may be printing little tiny miniatures like this Mando or um, this uh, Silver Elven Ranger. And so these guys take a tiny bit of material and it's good to know when you make the uh, STL file into a printable file, oftentimes your uh, slicing program will tell you how much material it's going to take to make. So know how much film you have on hand for little projects and you'll be surprised how much of the extras you can use. Now, before this thing runs completely out, let's go ahead and get started making the swapperoo on our filament. My printer is a Flash Forge Creator Pro, and it uses Sailfish for the printer firmware. If your printer uses a different program, you should still have options for print pause and reloading your filament, but definitely check your firmware manual to ensure that you know the steps. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is back out of the print menu. Once out of that, you'll see an option for pause. Choose the one that says pause and not Z position pause option. After selecting pause, you'll notice the printer is still running. This is because it has some printing loaded into memory and it needs to finish that portion. It will only take a few seconds. Once the printer pauses, the build platform will lower and the extruder will move out of the way. If you notice that the extruder is still over your model platform, you can use the jog function to move it further away. You want to do this because loading filament can ooze onto your current project. However, be careful with jog because you don't want to hit the end stops and potentially get the extruder out of whack, which can really mess up your print. Before we can load the filament, we need to obviously unload the old stuff. So basically you go into your menu and you find the filament loading section and then You'll click unload, which will take a couple seconds to heat up the extruder, and then you can remove the old filament. Once the filament's been removed, we reverse the operation and do filament loading. So this is when you'll go to where you have your spool and you're going to be ready to make the change. You want to select filament loading, which is then going to reheat the extruder and get it ready, and then have your spool ready so that the load operation goes smoothly. So this is the um, filament uh, filter that I was talking about. And what that does is it just cleans dust and stuff off of the filament before letting it go into your printer. I highly recommend it. You can make it yourself. Let's put that right here. Find it online. I'm gonna take the old roll off. And get the new roll ready. Insert the new filter. Make sure there's no sponge on the end of the tip. Feed it up into our feeder tube. After you've completed loading the filament, you'll go back around to the sail point and select unpause. Voila! You'll be reprinting in no time. And like that, it's just printing again 
exactly where it left off. Exactly where we left off and doing a fantastic job of uh, printing precisely. Um, and then, like I said, so we've still got a tiny bit of filament left on this roll. We'll put that aside and save it for miniatures or small little uh, models that we're printing. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I look forward to uh, getting more uh, 3D printing videos out sometime soon. See you later.